What would hinder your praise is my question this morning. What would stop your praise? What circumstance or situation that you would go through where you would say, you know what, God, it's just too much. I can't praise you. When you learn how to praise God in every situation, when you learn how to say the Lord giveth, the Lord taketh, blessed be the name of the Lord. That's a different kind of faith. And I think that it is, it always shows you something about yourself, where you are in faith, which determines where you go next. Because every situation is 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 some type of growth experience, some type of test, something that you will learn from, grow from, endure something that will allow you to be better in your next phase and stage of life. So if you are going through right now, if something is so tumultuous right now and you're saying, Erica, I just can't take it. I dare you to praise God right now in this moment, in this situation. I dare you to give God praise for it. I dare you to say, God, I thank you that I have not lost my mind. I thank you that I will make it through this situation because you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Your word says nothing is wasted in the kingdom. So not even this that feels like it's going to take me down will be wasted. You will use it for your glory. I will still be your vessel. I will still be your conduit. Flow through me, Jesus. Still have your way in my life. Lost my job, still giving you praise because you supply my needs. Doctor says, I won't make it. I believe that I'm healed in the name of Jesus because your word says, by your strike, you are he I am healed. When you learn to declare the word in the face of the enemy, everything changes. The enemy running, he's running scared. He can't whisper to you anymore. He can't continue to tell you what won't happen and won't what be. And listen, the Bible says he is the father of lies. The father of lies? That means everything that he says, you believe the opposite. You'll be by yourself for the rest of your life. God said he'd never leave me nor forsake me. And that doesn't just mean I just have the heavenly father. You'll physically have somebody there because God keeps his word, right? And the enemy is a father of lies. Will you learn to praise God in any and every situation because of how much you trust and know that God wants what's best for you? And sometimes even what's best for you is not what feels good to you, but it is good for you. Learn how to praise God in every situation of your life and watch things change. The enemy ain't got to come with new tricks because you recognize the old ones. Oh no, I know what this is. The enemy trying to distract me. There's a big blessing coming. Something amazing is about to happen in the next few days and he wants to throw me off. He wants me so upset and so frustrated that I can't hear the voice of God. Don't let him win. That's what he's trying to do. All right, that is my faith walk for today. Ladies and gentlemen, praise him in every situation, every situation. Yes, even the bad ones. I had to learn to do that with my father's past. Still, thank you, Jesus. And my daddy is with you today, Lord. And when you learn how to praise him in every situation, it changes everything.